Well, uh, Jordan Love was always on Green Bay's radar. In fact, they did a virtual FaceTime with him a couple weeks ago, raised some eyebrows when I reported it at the start of the pre-draft process. But Brian Gutekunst, the general manager, uh, who was in the building when they took Aaron Rodgers, by the way, uh, this a pick he called courageous. Well, this was courageous to the most surprising Packers pick since Rodgers, and Rodgers was quoted on local radio a couple weeks ago as saying uh, he had confidence in himself to beat out whoever they ended up taking. Well, now he's going to get the opportunity to prove that. Obviously, no issues this year, but Rodgers is in his mid-30s. This is a developmental quarterback prospect who does not have to play right away. Nothing wrong with investing at the quarterback position, especially if you hit it big and this is your franchise starter for the next 15 years. All right, Ian Rappaport, thank you very much. You mentioned the uh, 2005 draft. Back then, Brett Favre was 35 years old and still continuing that consecutive game streak. And he was like, wait, we took a quarterback with our 24th overall pick? Well, yeah, they did. Aaron Rodgers is actually older than Brett Favre was when the Packers took Rodgers in 2005. All right, uh, what we really needed was a home cam fixated on Aaron Rodgers tonight. So, Steve Smith... Do you like the move, <laughs> or are you sitting there kind of shaking your head saying, well, Green Bay won 13 games a year ago. They played in the NFC title game. Just give Aaron Rodgers more help. They're going to be able to give Aaron Rodgers more help. There was a big run on DBs at the end of the first round, so that tells me that the second or third round, teams are going to be willing and dealing to move up to get the guys that they really want. But when we talk about the Green Bay Packers, Right? We've talked about all these quarterbacks and moving up to get their guy. Just because you get your guy in the first round doesn't mean you have to play him in the first round. You know, the coaches that I've spoke to at Utah State had nothing but great things to say about him, about Jordan Love. And the one thing they did say is, again, three different offensive coordinators in that system in his career at Utah State. So he's learned a lot of different systems, which means he has a football acumen. But that doesn't mean that he's been coached by any NFL head coaches and offenses yet. So he needs some time to settle in. And why not settle in with the gunslinger himself with, with Aaron Rodgers? He can learn so much by just watching. Aaron doesn't have to speak to him. He can just learn by and absorb how he, how he works, what he thinks of, of how to understand the defense. All of that stuff plays in a part. So I really love that. And I really think this is a great positive thing for the Green Bay Packers moving forward. It's interesting, Steve, because the Dolphins taking Tua really spoke to what their, their owner, Stephen Ross, said prior to last year when he said the goal isn't to patch things up and get to 9-7. and seven. The goal is to get to the playoffs and compete for Super Bowls. That's why they went for Tua. They decided to reach for the greatness and take a little bit of a gamble with the injury. With Green Bay, this smacks of what happened before. Brett Favre was there in his prime. No one expected him to take a quarterback. Somehow, Aaron Rodgers kept falling and came to them. In this case, Green Bay moved up slightly, but doing the same thing. And the, 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 part, the part that I, I laugh about a little bit, and I love what you said, Jordan Love does not have to have Aaron Rodgers speak to him. He'll speak to him by how he carries himself, how he does things in practice, how he watches tape in a meeting, how he does all those things. Because we remember when Brett Favre was there, there was all that talk that Brett didn't treat Aaron all that well. Well, we don't know that Aaron's going to treat Jordan Love poorly, but Jordan Love better go in there ready to do things because I know one thing about Aaron Rodgers. He's exacting about his teammates and what he wants from them. Go in there, be ready to learn, be ready to do the things you need to, do, need to know. And he'll have a chance down the road. But this is such a Green Bay move. And what a great point Ian made about Brian Gutekunst, the GM, being in the building the last time and seeing this happen. History repeating itself in Green Bay. All right, so Charles, let's keep this in mind. Aaron Rodgers gets drafted in 2005. He does not start a game in the NFL until 2008. In fact, he threw 37 passes in Brett Favre's scrub time, if you will, those first three seasons. This might be a good move yeah. for the Packers, but do they have to smooth over the ego of Aaron Rodgers a little bit here? My guess is that the Green Bay Packers 
as this thing was happening, there was a conversation already. It, it, you know, the good organizations do that. When they're thinking that that might be a possibility, they let their main guy know so that when it does actually happen, he may still have a reaction to it. He may still be unhappy, but he can't say that he was flat out surprised. If we find out later that Aaron Rodgers was sitting on his couch and saw that come across and no one from Green Bay had contacted him, <laughs> that would be stunning to me. I think he knew it and knew this was coming. He may not love it, but it would be shocking to me that Brian Gutekunst and Matt LaFleur wouldn't have reached out ahead of time and said, hey, big fella, just so you know. And by the way, as Steve mentioned earlier, they can get receivers to help Aaron Rodgers starting with a run in the second round. Steve mentioned a run on DBs in the first round. Mm -hmm. That means there's more receivers available going into the second round, and Green Bay can continue to build around him. Look, of LaVisca Chenault, you know, he could be a big-time player in Green Bay's offense in the second round if they could get him.